Question on plyometrics. What are your thoughts on the role of plyometrics in a personal training setting, in particular for the fat loss client? Well, as much as I don't want to be one of these trainers that says this training method is good and that training method is bad, which seems to be very popular in our industry, I'm not sure if traditional plyometrics does have a large place in personal training or in, in particular for the fat loss client. And the reason for this, it is a training method that was originally developed for athletes who needed jumping, sprinting, essentially power development. And not really for the weight loss client. It's not a metabolically expensive activity as opposed to, say, traditional weight training, uh, which is what a fat loss client is really after or a general population client is after because traditional training is metabolically expensive both during the set and after the set and is very good at building strength and muscle mass which is highly desirable for the fat loss client. Plyometrics is a method of training that was invented in Russia by the late Yuri Wekoshansky as a means of developing power of storing elastic energy in that musculotendon junction so that from a rapid eccentric action you can potentially use more develop more power during the concentric phase so this has been used widely for decades by athletes looking at trying to improve their power this is power is not one of these constructs or abilities that the fat loss client is highly prizing they really are looking to expend as much energy during and after the training as possible and to trying to build as much muscle mass as possible, so therefore improving body composition. So would plyometrics be up on my list of training methodologies to go to? It wouldn't be. You do puff when you're doing it, but it's not metabolically expensive because you're using elastic recoil, which is not energy derived. It's elastic derived in, in the muscular tendon junction. So it wouldn't be high up on my list. I would absolutely go with more traditional strength methods in the weights room, and I would go with more traditional cardiovascular methods, interval training, continuous training outdoors to achieve body composition goals.